China's car market is decelerating. Growth in March was 7.9%, which was slower than the previous two months. And when growth starts to slow, you have more potential for conflict between global car makers and their Chinese joint venture partners. Now, joint ventures are really important in China. About two-thirds of passenger sales come from them. And these relationships are very polygamous. So General Motors has an agreement with Shanghai Auto, which also has an agreement with Volkswagen, which in turn has an agreement with China's first auto. You get the picture. These are very tangled interlinkages. Um, now, as growth slows, everyone starts to squabble more for a bigger piece of the pie. We think there are basically three ways that this squabbling could start to affect the market. The first is that China could, in theory, relax the market and let foreign companies buy their joint ventures in full. That would be great for the likes of Volkswagen. Terrible, though, for the Chinese state-owned enterprises that found themselves selling out and with most of their business then taken away. The second option is that China could kick the foreigners out altogether. Now, fortunately, that's still an extreme scenario and one that's very unlikely to happen. The third option, the status quo, and what's most likely to happen and already is, is that China just keeps making it harder and harder, degree by degree, for foreign companies to do business in the country. So they encourage local officials and local company chiefs to buy local instead of buying foreign. You know, they buy a Great Wall Motor instead of buying Audi. Now, as that continues, it's going to ratchet up the pressure in these joint venture. And over the long term, our prediction is that like objects in the rearview mirror, the breakup of these previously successful joint ventures may be closer than it initially appears. Thank <music> you.